Today's review is in response to the large number of requests we've had for more information about Zinn's 556 instrument watch family. The classic 556 was launched by Zinn in 2008 and sits with its entry level collections in terms of price point, complications and Zinn tech. We have a selection of pieces from the full 556 collection to review today, but would like to start out with the basics that are found across all models. Each 556 is housed in a sturdy 38.5mm satinized steel case with a lug width of 20mm and lug to lug height of 45mm. These dimensions and the slightly curved form of the lugs make the 556 quite wearable on most wrist sizes. The standard centre second black dial models feature a small date while the models with applied indices are centre second only. The date on the standard models is positioned at 3 o'clock on the I model and is lower to 4.30 position on the A model because of the prominence of the numeral 3. We have to say, the date is not a huge feature of this model, but it is there for those who like this function, although you will need good eyesight to read it. What you definitely can read clearly and quickly on the 556 is the time, thanks to the generous coating of luminous material on the indices, numerals and necktie shaped hands. If you require further delineation, both of the standard A and I models come with an option of a red second hand for added differentiation. Now let's take a closer look at the individual models and band configurations. The 556 range is split into three main series, known as the A collection, which features Arabic numerals, hence the A notation, the I collection, which has indices, hence the I, and the more recent extension to the eye collection, which incorporates coloured dials and applied indices. The A collection is most like Zinn's classic instrument watch designs, with its oversized numerals and open display. From a technical point of view, this is a durable, reliable, everyday watch. Like all 556 models, it has anti-reflective sapphire crystal, an exhibition case back, and is certified to 20 bar, or 200 meter water resistance. The automatic high grade Swiss movement inside is driven by a sturdy rotor and should deliver between 35 to 38 hours power with normal active wear. Today we have a 556A and 556A RS or red second with two Adsins band options, the H-Link metal band and the integrated silicon band. There is also a variety of leather band options that look good on these models. We have a personal preference for the metal band on this model because it suits our warm climate and gives the flexibility to go into the water or stay cool on dry land. The red second hand is a recent enhancement that we like a lot. It adds a little point of difference on the dial and clarifies the timekeeping legibility to a degree. But this is a personal choice and both the luminous white second hand and red hand suit the dial design without complicating the overall aesthetic. Now we'll move on to the more traditional, slightly more formal look of the eye models, which deliver good clean design and quality watchmaking which is why they remain crowd favourites. Once again, we have two variants of this model to show you how the white luminous second hand compares with the red second hand. And once again, it boils down to personal preference. The band options we have here are once again, the satinized steel H-Link and the leather band to show you how this model carries well on different styles. The leather band will be a little stiff until worn in and then it is a comfortable feel. A tip from us is to consider fitting a deployment class to your leather band because this not only protects your band from wear but also gives you added security in case the buckle opens during wear. It is a small expense up front that could extend your band life by months depending on how you wear your watch. Now we've taken you through the standard collection, let's take a look at some of the newer refined models with applied indices. 
As mentioned, these models share most of the technical features of standard models, except for a date window, which has been eliminated in favour of enhanced dials, applied indices and steel hands with luminous filling. Tin has developed this special 556 line somewhat over the years, and has given us various coloured dials and several different materials. We see these pieces as excellent entry-level dress watches that have the huge benefit of delivering precision and robustness at a great price point. In the end, these models give us the opportunity to customise the 556 collection to suit personal tastes, and that's a nice option at this price point. We don't have all the band options here today, but we can show you several of the more popular choices, starting with the dark and light Mother of Pearl dials which have been surprisingly popular since their introduction several years ago. You can see the subtle light play on the dial, which is characteristic of the Naker. Another feature of these dials is that each one is slightly different because it is made from a natural material. Some finishes shimmer petrol greens and others tend towards a warm salmon palette. But don't worry, the effect is very subtle and is really only evident under a light. Depending on how formal you want to be with these models, there is always a tone-in-tone -tone leather band to suit, or perhaps you consider investing in a fine link metal band to achieve a very polished look. Either way, we find these models give you lots of choices. We've saved some of our favourites for last, because we believe these models deliver on all fronts. Quality, durability, precision and design. Of course, we're talking about the 556i models, with electroplated metallic dials. We have the M, or Mocha model, and the B, or Blue model, which is one of our favourites, for you to compare. A definite highlight of these pieces is the dial enhancement, which captures and reflects light and shade as it moves on your wrist. The Mocha dial ranges from a subtle grey brown to a vibrant copper brown, and the blue morphs from deep navy to bright blue sunburst when in the spotlight. Although we've tried to suggest the best band options for these models, we can't choose because they are truly versatile and it will depend on personal taste and lifestyle. We've fitted the 556iM with a deployment class to show you how this can work on any leather band across all models in the 556 collection. And we've stayed with the H-Link for the B model, although the fine link also looks good. As you can see, there are not only lots of dial options with the 556 collection, there are also myriad band combinations you can use to customise your look and suit your needs to reflect your style. This is one of the things that makes the 556 collection so popular and we'll continue to see it remain a mainstay of SIN's collection. All in all, we find SIN's 556 timepieces to be excellent options for those looking to venture into the world of mechanical wristwatches with a piece that will stand the test of time in terms of design and perform well in terms of functionality. We hope this brief overview of Zin's 556 range has helped you on your journey. Thanks for watching another Time Only Review and we look forward to bringing you more about time next time. Time Only, the authorised Zin dealer 